Alrighty. Well, uh, good morning, everybody. Um, I'll just uh, browse the forums like I usually do, and um, I came across another good uh, another good forum topic here. Something I could definitely relate to. Um, I tried to make a, I tried to write a actually type out a forum post, but it just wasn't working out. Cause it, it's gonna be a hell of a lot easier for me to just talk it out. So, yeah. But yeah, this is kind of a this is kind of a latest news flash thingy, you know. I just I saw this and I figured I better comment on it immediately. But it's um got my first toxic party. Uh, a guy named Link Slax Link Slaxus, and because you really touched on something here. I'm gonna go ahead and like it. Um, let me... Damn it! Yeah, I gotta, I gotta highlight it like this. On these, on these forums here, I try to do it like this, but you know, this always happens. It turns blue over here and all that, so I have to do it kind of reverse. I'm a new player, Dark Knight. Half month, and I was just on 50 60 roulette after a, after a work day. And I got Scholar as a healer. I didn't get the name, it was Ampador Keep, and it was fine until the healer started to use spread and splitting the mobs. I asked her to stop, and she said, Tank better. I don't get mad with these things, whereas I'm pretty much the flip side. I do. I'll, I'll explain a little further if I can remember to. I don't get mad with these things, it's just I wanted to play and do what I'm supposed to do because I love tanking a lot. Well, he pretty much he pretty much said it for me. This is, which is why I get it's why I get pissed off when other players pull for me. I am one of those that actually enjoys tanking. I don't do it for just a quick cues or any quick QEs or anything like that. I do it because I like it. It's frustrating and I'm always trying to improve myself and do better, so please if you think someone is doing something wrong, help them. Don't start to rush the dungeon or something like this. Doesn't matter which game you came from, wow, which is uh which is where I came from, uh, playing for four and a half years. So I definitely have some experience behind this. Um, and this is probably one reason why right here, I stay up. I've tried doing this once too, and I had the same issue. Players trying to pull for me and stuff. I'm too much in the way. I'm just seen as a mere figurehead, which I pretty, I'm very, I'm very certain of this. One of the biggest reasons why they tend to do stuff like this, um, I've said it in other places, I'll say it here, douchebaggery scales with item level. If you've got players that are just, you know, crap gear and just regular quality gear, you know, they can't really do diddly squat to the monsters themselves and they'd probably die in two or three hits or whatnot. Basically, if, if, it, was, if it wasn't possible for them to solo a dungeon, they're going to be very respectful, you know. They're gonna let you tank for them because you're the only person who can. Because uh, they're they're shit geared, you know. They're in shitty gear. They can't do a damn thing themselves. They'll get killed. So yeah, they'll rely on you, the tank, to do it for them because you're the one who can, you're the only one who can do it for them. I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, and before I continue on, let me uh, mention that everything here is improvised. It's just ad libbed. I don't go off a script or anything. So. Don't, don't expect perfect oratory or anything like that. So, getting back to what I was saying, this is probably one of the reasons why he had a massive issue right here. Because in these kind of endgame roulettes, everybody grossly outgear, everybody grossly outgears them. It's all, um, I guess another thing that makes things really, really worse is on the fact that this game here has eye level sync. It sinks down your gear, but the problem is, is the eye level sink is is too generous. Usually in a, because usually in the regular leveling dungeons, the not end game ones, it's um it scales according to your level. Like if you're in a level 18 dungeon, if your level is above 20, it's sink down. Your that's that's the limit, level 20. So you don't out gear the dungeons by by not very much. It's very little. Very little, especially when compared to the endgame dungeons, where, where, where basically they're now WoW dungeons. Uh, if you ever ran Camp Westwind, Praetorium, um, what's the other one? Castrum Meridium. 
you can all gear those by as much as like like 90 90 eye levels I mean you can easily solo the stuff so because of that they don't give two shits about anybody else they can solo the content themselves so the rest of the group doesn't matter to them they, they don't need them you know they can solo all of it and again again uh, it's very I mean it's very rude it's very douchey but again it's because people in there out gear the content by so much they don't need the tanks so they can sit there and they can be as much of assholes to other people as they want because they're, they're, they're just figureheads that's all they are so you don't get mad whereas I do And this is the same. This is this is the same way with me as well. Tanking is my favorite role. So it, if somebody's sitting here pulling for me, then you're taking bread off my table. I mean, you're taking away what I enjoy doing. So very rude. So here, you really are fucking with me when you do that. Again, I don't. It, I don't. I don't tank for just the instant cues or anything like that. If anything. The instant cues are a moot point. You're just being instant into another group of assholes who's going to treat you like dirt. So, the point's moot. Um, I'm actually kind of neutral on this part. Doing something wrong, help them. If you can quickly and easily do it, do so. But I'm a firm believer that group content is not the place to practice your fundamentals. It's not the place to learn your basics. You got to do that when you're out doing solo questing. You don't. You don't do. You don't do that in a party and end up holding them hostage because you still don't know where your AOE button is. That stuff you got to figure out when you're out questing on your own. Once you figure that out, then you go in in the party group. You got to learn the fundamentals outside of group content. But aside from uh, aside from that. If they got a problem with a mechanic or something, help them. If there's a if there's a certain quirk that most, that a certain monster or monsters have that can be problematic for your party, let them know. You know, don't just sit here and be completely silent and then piss them on about it when the group wipes. Should have helped them. You know, this is especially true if he has a sprout next to his name or a flower. I mean that that should kind of be your cue to you know help the guy out. You know he. It, He's new to the game, or he's coming back after a long while. You, you know, I should kind of, be, you know, you should let you know, you know, maybe that you know, been a while, you know, might want to give the guy a refresher or something, you know. But if the group wipes, if the group wipes, you know, don't get mad. Explain to him what happened and why. So to move right along, um, I forgot. I also forgot to mention. Um, I have to try to make this quick because I still have to hop in the shower. Um, I still gotta pre-write my stream because I got a stream tonight, so I'm I gotta kind of cut this short. Don't start to rush the dungeon. But this doesn't matter. But again, just like I said a few minutes ago, it's because the players grossly out gear. I mean, if they couldn't solo it, if the monsters would kill them in like two hits, you know, or something like that, then they're gonna be very respectful. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do now, I'm going to go down the thread, and I'm going to comment in everybody else's posts. But I'm not, I'm not calling anybody out. I'm not trying to embarrass or expose anybody. But it, in situations like this, I find it a lot easier to just talk it out. It's a subject that I'm pretty passionate about, having endured this in WoW for four and a half years, and to a lesser extent, seeing it in this game as well. So I, I just really felt the need to say something. Uh, but let, let me move on. And I know her. Um, she's on, she's on my server. She's on my server, and she chats it up fairly often on, uh, you know, novice chat. Back when I had it. It's fine to do, do, but if you're going slower or something, not pulling multiple groups, it's almost expected someone else will again. Again, 
The only reason I, the only reason people pull back in these dungeons is because they outgear. If again, when um, in this game, when running leveling dungeons, everybody, for the most part, everybody goes one group at a time. This is, and some of the dungeons, Aram Aramville comes to mind. Um, there's probably other dungeons out there. Pulling multiple groups is actually dangerous, like very dangerous. You only go one at a time. But Bottom's Metal is another one. I mean, I've I've seen I've seen people try to mass pull that dungeon. It can be done, but it's very rare. Everybody had all the stars have to be aligned, and everybody has to be on their game in order to pull it off. Otherwise, it's a guaranteed wipe. Um, Arm Veil is kind of the same thing as well. Um, again, you're going to have to say that when you're barely geared for the dungeon, not when you out gear. Um, uh, this. This is probably another reason. When I tank, I, by default, I go one group at a time. I'm running randoms. So I don't know who's on the other end of the... I don't know who that who the other player is. I'm not a mind reader. So, and if given a choice, I would, um... I would rather not stress them out. You know, I would... I would rather, um... I would rather tick off other players uh, by going too slow. Then to take them off by going too fast. You know, playing it safe. You know, until somebody says, hey, you can pull more. Then I go ahead and pull more. But again, I tend to. I'd rather. I'd rather err on the side of caution. Because, uh. I mean, mass pulling might be great, but if you wipe, it's basically a waste. And it, this game here ain't like World of Warcraft. You gotta do a ton of running back. On a wipe. It ain't like wow, you die. And psh, you're pretty much put right where you, right where you started, or right with, right next to where the wipe occurred. So, so that. Um, a side note on this one too. Uh, there's a, a mini game called Palace of the Dead slash Heaven on High. If you wipe, if the party wipes, it's game over. You only get one chance. So again, it's better to err on the side of caution in a situation like that. Now. If I'm running with people I know, like back when I ran with my FC, I mean, they say, hey, pull all the things. Yeah, I'm pulling all the things because we all know each other. We all know what we can and can't do. So, yeah, I mean, I pull big, but if you're in a group full of random people, I mean, I'm, it's best to be careful. I mean, I'd rather be, I mean, I would rather be called a timid, shy person than to be a power-tripping asshole. Another way of looking at it. Um, that I agree with too. Um, you got if they sprint, you got to do it too. And again, if if you're at level geared or if you're under geared, don't do it. Again, this only matters when you out gear the content. Yep. And um, something else I forgot to mention too. Experience. Um, probably the way I look at it, unless you got a sprout next to your name and to a lesser extent a flower, by default, I'm going to treat you as though you've been playing since beta. That you've been playing this game from the very beginning. And which the go, go, go mentality is pretty much part and parcel of it. They've run the content thousands of times so they want to get it over with. What a lot of them don't realize is I've had to deal with those people that have been playing this shit since uh, back in beta. So, they're, they're not spring chickens. You know, there ain't no special snowflakes as far as this goes. I mean, they might have had to deal with slow tanks since beta, but I've had to deal with go-go-go people as well. So, they ain't special. Yep. Which is um, which is also another reason why I don't run the end game stuff. People so grossly outgear it that they can get away with this. They can sit there and 
you know, DPSers and healers can go pull a big, pull a whole entire room and then actually survive it. So you can't, you can't say, you pull it, you tank it, because more than likely they can. So again, this is, when a, when a tank isn't needed, then there's no point in me being there. What was the level he has had slightly lower level gear? Yep, that's this is exactly what I'm getting at here. Because when um, this is especially true in World of Warcraft. They have items in there called heirlooms. They um, they scale with your own level, and they're always the um, they're always a a more powerful equivalent of regular gear. They're higher quality, more stats on them and stuff. So if people are telling me to pull big, more than likely they were wearing heirlooms. Because uh, if they were shit geared, they wouldn't be saying a thing. They'd be patiently waiting for me to pull. Um, another thing I used to say, I say a lot, and I'll go ahead and say here. Um, I've never seen, I've never seen players in crap gear tell me they can solo content in crap gear. It's always the overgeared ones that say that. So that overgeared player saying that is meaningless to me. Yep. And um, in that situation there, you can do what I do. Just drop. Just drop group. Um, I would rather be a 30 minute, this is something else I always say, it's better to be a 30 minute, a 30 minute deserter than a, than a five minute figurehead. So, if they're just going to get pissy about me not pulling big, I'm gone. Um, it's cliche as it might sound, fun is subjective. If, um. If I'm if I'm actually you know if I'm actually in a good mood you know I'm, you know pulling an entire room might be fun then yeah I will do it but if people are telling me to if pulling big if I'm pulling big because I have to if not I'll get kicked from the dungeon or to state an example then that's not my idea of fun so uh, again as stated before it I very rare. Something else I've mentioned too is um, very rarely do I see, at, hang on, hang on, very rarely do I see uh, poorly geared players do this. They don't get impatient and pull. Not in my experience. It's the only ones that do it are the over geared ones. Uh, crap geared players wait for me to pull. Same thing here. Same thing here. Um, in the technically, he is correct. If you if you never pull big, you'll never learn how to pull big. But again, it's it's best done in a in a pre-made group, or if you're in an FC or something with people that know you, you know, or when you guys know each other, that's when that's the best time to actually pull big. Because again, I if you're if you're running randoms, you're running with total strangers, and you're not a mind reader like myself. So um, the and I should also mention the few times that I've actually typed down, do I pull big? Usually I get either total silence or up to you. So, but I don't. Nobody ever tell says pull all the things or anything like that. So. Usually they, they don't they don't get mad and piss money until they find out the hard way that I'm going one group at a time. Then they get mad. So don't be afraid to ask them to slow down or initiate a vote kick. If... Yes. Um. To be fair, in this game here. Very rarely do I see it. 
like like as in outright, you know, pull one group, somebody whoo, runs way off in some direction, pulls another group and brings them back to you, like something something uh, blatant like that. Uh, very rarely do I see it here. Now in World of Warcraft, it's, you see it a lot. That couple that with the fact that the game's been off, the game's been off for almost 15 years. Everybody's jaded as fuck on that game. So, Lord knows why they don't quit. You know, they just keep right on playing. Uh, I disagree with this. Uh, I totally disagree with this. If you don't want to deal with the mob, don't pick up the nid. Um, it, to me, that's almost as bad as uh, somebody pulling for you. Not picking them up, just... Nope, you're on your own. You pull it, you take it. You know. See, I mean that to me that's uh that shit's bad. In a situation like that, at the very least, pull pull the extras, tank them when the encounter's over. To me, or in my opinion, just drop. Just leave. You know, don't even don't even try to state your case or anything. Again, more than likely they probably all care the content. They don't need you to begin with. There's no point in saying anything. Just go. Or actually, 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 let me let me take that back. It's important. I think you need to at least say something. Or I I used to have some uh, when I played World of Warcraft. I used to have macros and stuff that I would say whenever players pissed me off. I would use the macro, but then leave immediately after. I don't remember what they were, but but yeah, I. I, had, I actually had macros. It, this is how bad. This is how bad World of Warcraft was. I actually had, had, fuck you macro, fuck you type macros. I'm leaving. Type, type macros. I don't remember what they were, but I actually had to make set macros for. Because typing, you know, typing out my rant took too long because I'm a slow typist. It's faster when you just make a macro and then players start to pull up for me. There you go, guys. Fuck off. Pew, I'm gone. <laughs> Same here. <clears throat> I don't know where you get a uh, 370 gear though from. Uh, the ones I saw were all uh, 330, unless they toned down the eye level recently or during my nine month hiatus. Okay, this, this one here I also agree with here. If it's um, if it's constructive criticism, if they're, you know, if they're, you know, I mean, if they're, if, if you could see some advice through all the um, through all the ranting and all the vulgarities, then yeah, learn from it. But again, you know, being an elitist snob in response to elitist snobs is not. Two wrongs don't make a right. That's what I was looking for. Yep. It's a good experience with a new tank. Just go with it. But yeah, it, I agree with this too. And FF Games said the same thing. Chain pulling trash groups is the Norman 70. Um... But the only reason they can do that, though, is because they outgear the dungeons. High level sync in this game is too generous. Why not? Yep, and this is especially true. What I got highlight, what I'm highlighting right here, is especially true considering how late in the expansion this is. Um, I think there's a new expansion coming out in uh, January. If I'm guessing right. Uh, Shadow Runners or Shadow Bringers, I think it's called. It's coming out in January, so that's a couple months from now. We're way late in the expansion, so. There's a tank that single group kills, and he is a newbie to Dungeon Nine. So, yeah, there's not going to be a whole lot of. 
you're not going to be seeing a whole lot of new players now in in these end game dungeons probably because probably because they probably uh, they probably gotten lambasted so many times by the time they got there that they probably quit Uh, and once again, it depends on gear. Depends on gear to a less, lesser extent, uh, experience. Everybody pretty much all gears the content, so that... That really doesn't hold that much water. So far, it's not, um... So, yeah, I'm... At least based on this uh, particular thread here, it's nice that I'm in a game where people would actually agree with me on this. I mean, you might be going too slow, you know, basically holding the group hostage, but then again, healer pulling mobs on purpose is a dick move. I mean, even... Even back when I played World of Warcraft, um... Even when I played a healer or a DPSer, I would never ever pull for the tank. Ever. What I would do though, if a tank's being too slow, sluggish, you know, being too skittish, despite us telling them, just go ahead and pull a tank. If there's anything special about certain monsters, we'll let you know. But he still stands there and stares at the mon stares at the stares at the monsters. I have I have um run up next to the tank, switch my uh switch my spec to a tank spec and then just take over for him. I've done that before. Basically, relieving him of duty. I've done that done that a fair amount of times as well. But I'll never pull for him. I kind of wish you can, you can uh, switch roles on the fly in this game too. Uh, again... To me, two wrongs don't make a right. Um, being a douchebag because of somebody else's douchebaggery is is not the right way to do things. Again, just take what he pulls and the encounter, just, or try to find a good stopping point, and then just try to say something. Hey, look, you know, enjoy the free ride to the dungeon or something. Or, well, Joe's taxi service, you know, Joe's taxi service is now leaving, and then drop group or something. But don't. I'm kind of babbling here, but... Hey, she must have been playing for a while. You pull it, you tank it. Yeah, this is something else I noticed, too. In this game here, it, it really isn't worth... It really isn't worth your while to pull big anyway. I mean, because in this game here, monster groups are spaced super far apart. I mean, by the time you even run all the way down to the next group, you probably could have just killed the group you're currently on. And Okay, my mic's still working. <coughs> Forgot to check it from time to time. This is, this is probably another one of the reasons why I don't, I don't mass pull in this game. Monsters are spaced so far apart, I mean, hell... By the time you even get down to the next group, you could have just killed the group that you're currently working on. I mean, there's, I mean, there's uh, numerous dungeon runs where I've seen other players do it. Pick up one group, but then, you know, us players and the monsters are all following the tank. Like, gee, by the time we actually get down there, I could have just killed this group that he just pulled. You know. This, to me, is just bow out. Seems like they didn't need a tank or something. That, that, I have, they, that's what I was looking for. I have to matter to the group. And if they don't need me, there's no point in me being there. So that's, again, that's another reason why I don't do the endgame dungeons. 
because of, sorry to sound like a broken record, but because everybody out gears them so much, they don't need tanks now. Uh, tanks basically have a limited shelf life in any expansion. They're only really going to be needed in the early part of it where the dungeons are running, they don't out gear them by much. That's when you really need the tanks. Once the expansion goes on and on, though, more raid tiers, better gear, they start out gearing those dungeons and tanks start falling by the wayside. Then it just becomes more and more pointless to me even trying. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down. Like I said, uh, I was trying to cut trying to cut this short. I have to. I still have to pre-write my stream, my uh, Twitch description, and all that, because I'm streaming tonight, and um, there's a chance there's a chance I might be having to work tonight too. So I'm gonna have to lay down here pretty soon too. Gonna have to shower, shave, and go to bed. So, so if you made it this far, thanks a lot for watching, everybody, and take care, and see you next time. Bye now.